Okay, now we're talking about the present per progressive. Also, some books and teachers will talk about the present perfect continuous. It means the same thing. Progressive and continuous are the same thing. Okay, we form the present perfect progressive with have or has, and we may use not for the negative. And then you've got been, the past participle of be, and then you've got the main verb with ing. Okay, I have been working all week. I have not been working all week. This is the negative. You have been working all week. You have not been working all week. We have been working all week. We have not been working all week. Oops, we got skipped some here. Three. Okay, here's some more. Bill and I, this is like a we, have been working all week. Bill and I have not been working all week. Use they, my friends. Okay, same thing. However, third person singular is has, right? He has been working all week. He has not been working all week. My brother or she. If it's a third person, he, she, um, I'm going to use has and not have. And here are some more. It for a thing, like the car, the car has been working all week, or the car has not been working all week, also uses has. And in conversation, we use contractions with this a lot, okay? Um, he's been working, we've been working, the car's been working, my friends have been working. With most verbs, we can use either the present perfect or the present perfect progressive to talk about an activity that started in the past and continues in the present. Um, the, however, the progressive form emphasizes the action is ongoing. However, you really don't need to worry about the difference in this kind of sentence. I've been writing for this magazine for 14 years, and I still don't have my own office. I've written for this magazine for 14 years. I can't imagine working anywhere else. In both these sentences, it's okay to use either. Here I could use, I have written. Here I could use, I have been writing. It doesn't matter. If you're talking about something that began in the present and continues now, then it's okay to use either the present perfect or the present perfect progressive. However, remember that we've got verbs with non-action meaning, and we talked earlier how we don't use them in the present progressive or the past progressive. We don't use non-action verbs in the present perfect progressive either. So I've known him for several years, but we don't get together very often. Okay, I would not say I've been knowing him. Because this is an action verb, uh, no, excuse me, this is a non-action verb. With a non-action verb, don't use progressive tenses. Okay, and we don't normally use the present progressive for an action that was repeated two or more times in a recent period of time. So I've finished three books so far, but I have four more to read, and I would not say I've been finishing. Because this is like one, two, three. Three, uh, three actions in the past. Oh, there's the dog barking. Lulu, hush. Stop. In this case, I can use either present perfect or present perfect progressive because the verb is try. It's something that continues over a period of time 
even though I've called many times, um, trying the action, the main verb of trying, is something that continued so I can use either the present perfect or the present perfect progressive. I've tried to call Jack all day, or I've been trying to call Jack all day. But if you've got frequency words, such as once or twice or several times, these are cues to use the present perfect, not the present perfect progressive. Okay, I've tried to call Jack several times, or I've tried to call Jack once or twice. In that case, with these frequency uh, words cueing the present perfect, I would not use present per perfect progressive. Okay, we can use the present perfect to show that something started and ended in the past, although it affects the present. So someone has used my name to apply for a credit card. I don't know what to do. Okay, so this is something in the past affecting the present. I don't know what to do. So I'm using the present perfect. Um, however, using the present perfect progressive shows that the activity was repeated or ongoing up until now. Someone has been using that credit card I lost. Okay. This is still happening in the present. Okay. In this sentence, I would not use present perfect progressive because the action really is not continuing now. But here it is, so I use present perfect progressive. 